Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and today I'm getting ready with all of the things that I received for my birthday and purchased with my January beauty budget of $50. morning <laughs> do I look tired because I feel tired it's Friday when I'm filming this and I'm so glad it's a three-day weekend so I've already primed my face I got this primer from hello fab it's the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer I really love this this is my second sample of this size this actually will give me quite a few uses but I did notice today there is a ton of ingredients on the back here. Like this is all ingredients. There's no like directions or anything. So one of the things that I purchased with my beauty budget this month is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. And it's said to be waterproof. I'm going to apply this before we go in with foundation. I'm just kind of trying different things. And this is a pretty thick formula. It's in a very good shade for me because it's not super brightening. It's like a half of a shade lighter than the foundation we're going to use next. So I'm pretty pleased with it so far, although I haven't used it enough to give a full review. I do know that I have to just use a very small amount because it's more thick than some I do think it applies best with a finger or at least finish off with your finger to warm that product up and really get it into the skin so hopefully you can see the difference I'm kind of naturally lighter there aren't I the foundation for today is the Ulta Beauty effortless effect medium coverage hydrating foundation this is a new foundation to the line at Ulta, and it says it's infused with hyaluronic acid to boost hydration, acai berry and pomegranate extracts to even skin tone appearance, and antioxidant vitamin E helps protect from free radical damage. And I have mine in the shade Light Warm. It's pretty rare I buy a warm foundation. I'm not even for sure what I was thinking. And I have not mastered this foundation whatsoever. I'm going to put like a pea size amount on the back of my hand. I've been using my Juno & Co sponge to try this out. I've tried a brush. I've tried my fingers. But today I'm going to try out the good old fashioned beauty blender. <laughs> and just because this is a little bit more porous, it does absorb a little bit more product kind of like the Real Technique sponge um, than like the Juno and Co, Co Blur sponge. So I'm hoping this might fix some of the issues I've been having with this foundation. And that is, the, I just feel like it sits on top of my skin. It, I feel like it accentuates every pore, even when I've tried it with more pore filling primers so not for sure yet if this doesn't work for me I may return it actually because I'm working with the beauty budget this year and I don't want to waste I mean I got this on sale for seven dollars but seven dollars is no small part of fifty dollars <laughs> you know what I'm saying it kind of looks patchy it looks okay on camera, so we'll go with that today. I'm going to quickly do my brows, which is definitely not exciting. I'm going to use the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Latte. It's too warm for my preference, but I'm going to use it up. Real quickly, under my eyes, I'm going to go into my Tried and True Number 7 Perfect Light Press Powder in Translucent. I have tried the next product under my eyes, and it is a no go. <laughs> so the powder we're going to use today is the Ulta Beauty Mineral Setting Powder. I now have a full base of Ulta, although the foundation is not my fave. Faux show. I'm just going to put a little bit of this out on this little ring 
whoa, ring dish. It's been a long time, I think, since I used a mineral powder. And even though this foundation looks dry on me, it doesn't like dry down really. I mean, maybe if I sat for like a half an hour or something like that. But ultimately, my skin is a little bit more combo these days than normal. I think, like I said, because of my fitness journey, my body is like detoxing from all the garbage <laughs> that I was eating. And, you know, we can always do better tomorrow. And lots of my tomorrows lately have been good. I'm taking better care of myself. I'm doing yoga. I pulled a muscle doing yoga this, uh, I actually think it was yesterday morning, but this morning I was like, oh no, <laughs> that hurts. Um, and this is intense yoga, y'all. It's not just your basic yoga. I use the channel Boho Beautiful, which I will link down below for you in case you're interested. And they go all over the world and do this yoga in like natural settings. Oh, that is all so, so, so me. I love nature. I love yoga. Um, I just got away from it for a long time and my body felt like I got away from it for a long time, which, you know, it's unfortunate, but again, we can always do better than today, tomorrow. Uh, you just got to try, keep trying. That's all I can say. I didn't, get a bronzer for my birthday. So I'm going to use the one from my Shop My Stash that's inside of the Tarte Clay Play. I've been loving this shade right here, Desert, which is definitely a little bit more cool tone, but because I'm so pale right now, it kind of works. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and bronze up with that. So yes, I've been doing yoga. I have completely cut out processed food we're on a, back on a whole foods only diet, which is great. And I don't mean diet as in, you know, I'm making my kids lose weight. I mean, diet as in we're eating healthy again. Um, you know, we all fall down sometimes and we have to get back up and do what we know is best. And I'm no preacher here. I'm just saying these are the things that are at the forefront of my mind right now at this stage in my journey. So, you know, it's never too late to start. It's never too late to do better. And I'm doing better. If you've ever been on a fitness journey or are currently, where do you always lose weight first? For me, it is my breastises. <laughs> Good thing I'm not monetized, huh? But yeah, I don't know. I think it's interesting. I do tend to lose weight in my face first though as well. So we'll be long and that double chin will not need so much bronzer. <laughs> I wasn't for sure which blush I was going to use today. I did get this little milk makeup um, lip and cheek stick for my birthday from Sephora and that's the shade. Mm -hmm. So I have that option. Or, I mean, I realize I've just powdered, but I don't usually have a problem with that. Or, I did get the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Warm Honey. I'm kind of feeling that one. Let's do the Cover FX. Let me know, though, I was thinking, let me know if you guys want a video on how I apply cream products to my face, because I do quite a lot. In fact, we are going to use a cream product here next. But, I like to just kind of pick up both. These are very pigmented, so you really dip in lightly. I kind of do one into the matte, which does kick up, and then a couple dabs into the sheeny <laughs> blush, and oh, it's so pretty. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my favorite blush, which is e.l.f. Mellow Mauve. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's like these two mixed together makes this pretty much. So that's good because I have a lot of this. <laughs> Sometimes I use just the matte side, 
but most of the time I mix them together because I do love a glowy blush right now. Look how pretty that is. And I always pull my blush up toward my temple. It's just what I like to do. I have a very full face. I feel like it gives some kind of a lift. In December, uh, my husband had made some orders for our kids from Ulta with a gift card and it was enough money that I got enough points to get this for free. So very exciting. And then I picked up this little RMS Beauty mini palette thingy from Sephora. This is brand new. It's supposed to be clean at Sephora and I've just always been kind of fascinated by RMS Beauty. I feel like I want to go into Magic Luminizer, this one right here. This is probably the more stiff of the formulas in terms of the other ones are a little bit more glossy and this is a little bit more like what you would expect from a normal cream highlighter. I haven't used the bronzer just yet. Um, it is the, whoa, sorry, the tiniest bronzer ever, so it's kind of hard. I just thought this was fun, and like I said, I'd always kind of been interested in RMS Beauty, but they are pretty pricey if you buy their full-size products. So when I saw this for $25 at uh, Sephora, I was like, yeah, I want to try that. I'm going to spend my budget on that this month, so... That is what I did. <laughs> Ooh, I honestly haven't played with this enough yet to give any kind of opinion because I have been using my Shot My Sash stuff and my unofficial pan products and other things that were new from December. So that's what we're looking like. Pretty damn glowing. <laughs> okay, so I have two eyeball things today to use. And I'm very excited about both. One is something that I personally picked out. I picked out two or three things for myself for my birthday um, from, I think they were all, yeah, they were all from, from Sephora. Um, but one of them is something I've been wanting for a long time. And I was finally like, you know what? You deserve it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize um, Cream Shadow in the shade Marie Antoinette somewhere between a bronze and a taupe and I love 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 this I mean you can probably see I've already made a little dent in it because this is so freaking fast to use and then the other thing is um my daughter picked out two things for me for my birthday so she wanted to pick one thing from Sephora and one thing from Ulta um and she told me that the thing from Sephora was off my wish list but the thing from Ulta was not. So the thing from Ulta was this MAC palette. What is it called? The MAC Art Library Nude Model Palette. I love that it's not just plain black. It's got this like paint stripes or something like that. And then here's the palette. It's so pretty. And she told me that she picked this because I don't have any MAC eyeshadows. Not entirely true. I do have a MAC Quad, but it's shades that honestly I won't ever use and I've seriously considered decluttering for that reason. Moving on, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury as kind of a base and then we're going to take our highlighting shade and maybe a little bit of depth from the MAC palette. So how I like to use this best is to apply it with my finger. It blends out beautifully with a brush, but I find it a little difficult to pick up out of the container with a brush so I really like just using this with my finger and then I will go back and blend it up into my crease with a brush. I'm going to go ahead and grab this little duo fiber blending brush which means that some of the bristles are longer and duo fiber brushes are really, really good for diffusing, and they're also really good for cream shadows. So I just take this in the crease a little bit and sort of buff out the edges of the cream shadow. And this shade is so, so me as well. 
and I really love just wearing this. Like that's the dent that I have in here is from just wearing this as my eyeshadow. Putting some on the lower lash line, maybe my highlighter on the inner corner, and then that's it. Mascara, obviously, and that's my eye look, and I love it. <laughs> it's such a nice go-to. This particular color, I don't know about the other ones because I only have this one, but they have such a sheen to them that it gives the lid, that highlight, the, dim the dimension, the whole thing with just this one shadow. I'm going to take this little pencil brush with a point and pick up some of this cream and apply it to the lower lash line. I love what this does to the lower lash line as well and it's so simple and this is very moussey like this is unlike any other cream shadow that i've tried but the moussey aspect of it really helps with the blending and also um just that i think it adds to that smoothness and the whole thing so here it is i mean this is the look i've been wearing a ton just to go about my day so, 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 so glad that I picked this one up. I think I want to go the warm route today. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this peachy matte right here, which is called Tet a Tint, I believe. Yeah. I'm going to take that on a big fluffy and I just want to run this along the edge of, you know, the cream shadow. Just further blend those edges but also add a little bit of warmth. I don't have much experience with MAC shadows so I'm excited to play with these more but it's going to be a little bit because I'm going to work on those seven looks for the Modern Renaissance palette for you guys. So I think for the lid I want to go into this peachy shade. I don't know why I just do and it's called Drop the Robe. <laughs> Apply that on the inner part of the lid and bring it up to meet that transition shade as I like to do. So picking it up on the flange, just want to see how much we can build this up. Some people say MAC shadows are kind of blah, boring, whatever. But, man, people were still obsessed with MAC shadows when I first came on the scene to YouTube and started my channel at the beginning of 2018. For gits and shigs, I want to do um, this shade right here for the inner corner, which is Shroom, which I believe is an existing shade in the uh, line of shadows for MAC. So far, color me impressed. I like these shadows. I think it's interesting that people don't really talk too much about MAC shadows anymore unless they do like, you know, always when they do their little collaboration collections, people get pretty excited about those. And then I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. We're definitely getting along better now. All right, for my birthday, I did get two Libby's and they're both from Charlotte Tilbury. I picked this one out myself. I had finished up this teeny tiny little sample size of the Pillow Talk Matte Revolution lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, but that one was a little pinky. I really wanted more of a nude nude, so I went ahead and went with this shade Very Victoria, and this is a nude nude. Ooh, the back of my hand's so dry. So there you go, very nude, almost a neutral nude, which is kind of cool. And then my daughter, the thing that she ordered from Sephora was the Charlotte Tilbury, I think they call these the Hot Lips um, formula. And these were the ones, number one, they're refillable. And these were the ones that were inspired by prominent women in our generation or in our whatever inspiring woman okay this one is glowing jen which was created from jennifer aniston and the reason that's so funny is that my daughter i used to be i still can watch it and, it, I, and I enjoy it every time 
but my daughter's completely upset with friends and so that's why she picked this one which is great it was it was on my wish list at Sephora and I like this because it's quite a bit darker but it's also rosy um, without being pinky like pillow talk is so I love it to line my lips with my lips but better Mac whirl lip pencil <laughs> that definitely didn't come out in the right order did it so from what I can tell about this lipstick so far it is long lasting like the matte revolution formula if you're familiar but this has a sheen to it it's um it's not matte <laughs> I love this color. This is literally my perfect nude. So Hannah, baby, if you're watching, thank you. All right. So this is a full face of the things that I received for my birthday and purchased with my January beauty budget. And thank you so much for spending part of your day here with me today. I really and truly do appreciate each and every single one of you who chooses to watch my videos. If you did like this video, I hope you will smash that like button and consider subscribing before you leave. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video real soon.